Greetings one and all. How's everyone doing? Probably should have done a camp report. When I turn the camera off, I'll, I'll do that. But I'm gonna try some for the first time. Bannock. Never had it, never made it before. I even wrote it on the bag. So, uh, I actually found another pot stand that was 149. And my buddy Nathan gave me this bowl. And it fits in there perfect. So, these all fit together just great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake the bannock in here. I'm actually gonna, I've got the pot stand here and I'm gonna put the bowl in here like this so it kind of elevates it. And I'm gonna try to use this as an oven to bake my bannock. I got a little olive oil from home. Not very, not very heavy, not very much. Just, I'm gonna put it in the pan so hopefully it won't stick. So I'll get these on the fire. Start warming them up. I'll get them on the rocks. Start warming them up. All right. So I've got the recipe here. I mean, I don't really have the recipe. Where am I sitting? I can't tell if you guys can see this, but I hope you can. Uh, it's. Flour, baking powder, double acting, milk, powder, salt, and one tablespoon of shortening. And all I did is I put it in a bowl and I mixed all the shortening in there and just made sure it was well combined. Am I in camera? If you keep talking, I'll just bring it up a little bit. Oh, thank you. Got a my buddy Grant's helping me with the camera. So you guys can see. So all you gotta do is add water, and that's what we're gonna do. And then we add a little bit of water and then mix it up. Seal it. That might hopefully that's not too much water. It'd be really awkward to mess it up. First time I ever made it. All you do is you mix it. Might need a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. Just a little too dry. I'll post the recipe in the description so you guys can go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna add. I'm um, this is just first of many. I plan on. Uh, experimenting with other bannocks, adding other ingredients. Let's see how that goes. It's looking pretty wet. I think we might be good to go. There's no flour at the bottom. Alright. There we go. Oops. And then I drop it. So we are mixed together. Make sure that the pan is like not smoking hot, but you know, warmed up.
Good to know, they're very easy, does it? I wonder if someone's watching us screaming, Hey, you're doing it wrong! Yeah. Probably as good as it's gonna get. There's a little left over, but you know, whatever. And we'll bring you back with an update. Let you know how it goes. Hey guys, so this is the view that we have coming out of our shelter. I thought I'd give you a, a look of what we're gonna be seeing. We got a big pile of wood here, so fuel coming up the ass, plus over here as well. But I gotta show you this view. And then I'm going to show you our bannock, which I just threw on, but I'm carefully watching because I don't want to burn the crap out of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much gorgeous. So just on the other side of this pile is uh, just a tremendous view. Speaking of views, let's take a peek at our bannock. Kind of move the coals a bit. I'm watching it a little bit more carefully than normal because I don't want to burn it. Yeah, it's still completely raw. So it's only been on for a few, but we'll, we'll come back and give you another update. All right, let's take a look at our bannock. Actually, it feels like it's cooked. It's springy to the touch. I guess you can't see that. It smells pretty good. It's, uh, I guess we'll let that cool down and uh, bring it back when it's ready to go. Kind of smoky. Totally digging these tongs. Such a such a great way to manipulate the fire. All right, we'll bring it back. All right, so we have a bannock update. It's off the fire. It's still kind of warm, but I used a spoon to loosen it. So let's see how the bottom looks. Uh, it's got a little dark. You know, it's a little dark, but I think it's totally doable. That sounds good. Oh, break bread, brother. Oh, and it's all cooked through. Dude. There you go. Thank you. Oh. It's the first time. Yeah, I'm in panic. Man, I would have almost have flipped this damn thing over and cooked it on both sides. Make like a... Mm. Mm. Not pretty good, man. Yeah. Oh man, you could put anything with this. And the bottom that's burnt is actually, well not burnt, but cooked, that's really great. That's where the flavor is. Yeah. Mm. Good job, dude. Wow, thanks. 
That's tasty, man. Yeah. I'm really liking it. Bannock, good stuff. Yeah. Bob isn't too down either. needs some like strawberry preserves or some like mixed berries or oh, dude, blackberries. I mean, is, it's almost like a muffin, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can do anything. I mean this is also like uh, it goes either way. I mean this you could do with like a gravy and a oh, meat yeah. and all sorts. Well considering what you you know the amount of um, you know like it was only like a bag of the stuff you brought up. And what the yield you get, you know, yeah. that's just, I mean, you could feed, you know, if you could give everybody four people, you know, like a little piece of this. I mean, as, as a one person, this is a meal. Bit of cheese on it. Absolutely. Bit of cheese it, man. Oh, man, have you <laughs> melted cheese over the mm -hmm. top? Mm -hmm. I had beef stew for dinner, so I should have waited. All right, guys, Bannock. Totally a 10 for 10. I just cooked it in this little bowl. Oh, it's foolproof, huh? And uh, didn't didn't really burn that much. Just put a little bit of olive oil. Cooked up nice. Well, oh, that's good trail food. Hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check the description for the recipe. I'll put it down there for you.